Hello again, YouTubers. This is Epify with Lotus. Oh, single <laughs> <laughs> um, Soul. Sponsored by Steel Series. What? Uh, mm. Monarch. According to all known laws of aviation, there is no way a bee should be able to fly. Its wings are too small to get its fat little body off the ground. The bee, of course, flies anyway, because bees don't care what humans think is impossible. Okay. Uh, we got to bounce a lot. He's just like listening. <laughs> yep. Hey there. Uh, wow, such a boring intro. Come on, do better. <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Look at the lazy one. <laughs> and we are doing another session of um, my horror campaign Pokemon thing. Um, I'll do a little brief recap for those who missed out. I think it was Soul who missed out last time. Yeah, I missed out a couple of episodes because I nice other stuff came up. Well, we haven't really had anything for a couple of episodes that you were gone. Uh, <laughs> As in, like, we didn't actually do any. We didn't really do anything, but Nina did show up for one. Yeah. And we had our Discord crash, which was freaking horrifying. Yeah, which we tried to fix it, which was very hard. <laughs> well, Wait, uh, it came back crash? on its own. Yeah. Basically where we are right now is we've just defeated some bandits that kidnapped Pikachu. Mm. And I'll just like read from here. After defeating the bandits, you guys carry back the rather well-fed Pikachu to the train station, where the old station security from before is waiting. He gives you each one rare candy and a pat on the back. So each of you gets a rare candy. Oh yeah. It's <laughs> real. I'm going to give this to my, um, oh, who's it, um, uh, where is it? Okay. One second. <laughs> uh, I would most likely ask which one of my Pokemon are closest to evolving. I'm not going to use it on Legolas because I can't even use them yet, so. <laughs> you are excessively powerful Pokemon sometimes. Uh, let's see. <laughs> Uh, I think some of your Pokemon are still quite far off, so it doesn't really matter. Um, okay, so I have Vapor at uh, 16. Uh, then the next one's in a box. Then Plasmir <laughs> is in a, actual box. In, a in an actual box. <laughs> We've got Vapor, uh, Uwu, Mercury, Ice Baby... Uh, yeah, I have, I have Giovanni. Uh, Ice Baby's put up. Uh, I know what I'm going to do. Evolved, which is good. Yeah, so. Todoroki's one. out. Goopy's out. The, uh, Giovanni's out. I had to put the Uwu in a box. <laughs> I know what I need to do. Uh, then I also have Mercury and Fade. Yeah. As well as uh, Legolas. Yeah. I'm going to use my rare candy on my... Growdar. Okay. Actually, you know what? I believe if I do this, I could already get a new move <laughs> for the start of the episode. <laughs> okay, I'm giving my I'm giving my rare candy to Mercury. Okay. So their health raises by two, and their level raises by uh, one. So. They're gonna be level twenty three. Uh, so, are and, you giving a rare candy to any of your Pokemon? Yep, just give me one second. I'm. And their health is forty four. On which one to give it to? Uh, I think uh, I don't know why you don't give it to your Nidoran, but you haven't given him really any XP recently. Uh, your need around involves a level 14, so. Alright. Yeah, let's give it. I'm gonna give it to need around. Okay. Yeah. There we are. So, as I was saying, before all that, like, leveling stuff. Oh, where was I? Oh, yeah. Uh, pat on the back. 
we walk over to a rather rusty covered train with one train car attached. It doesn't look like it's run in a very long time. As the old man goes for the doors, they appear jammed. He goes to kick it, but hurts his back. You guys help him to a nearby bench, while you see Bakugo and Sadie ramming the door to no success. What do you do? Uh, I'm gonna... I um... look to see if there's a visible crack. Uh, I'll say roll a d6 for that. Alright, so uh, let me pull... Oh wait, yeah, it's just basic. Uh, I got a 4. Can I use my Growdell to um, use Flamethrower to burn it? Uh, you can try. Okay. I'll say for Lettuce, um, you look to see if there's a visible crack. It seems like the doors are very well like secured. Like You can't really see a, um, any light passing through the doors. Can I look? Is there a visible crack? Not in between the doors, but below the doors. No, no, like, these are pretty rusty doors, and they're quite reinforced, so it doesn't look like these are going to open anytime soon. Alright, well, then I can't use my normal technique. <laughs> so, you're going to try and attack um, the door, Mark? I'm going to use my Gradal's flame for it to try and burn it. You just see, like, the door well... kind of melt into place. Yeah, I so would have said... the door onto the train. <laughs> Well, great. <laughs> That's not coming off anytime soon. Oh dear. <laughs> All right. So, uh, scream at you. What are you doing? Wait. Can I use Mercury to fly me around and uh, see if there's any possible entrances? Ooh, that's actually quite a good idea. Uh, oh, I so know. Gonna fly around the train with Mercury then. Yep. I want my um, Voltorb. To charge at it. <laughs> no, 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 that's a power you, up. No, you no, static just shock. welded the door. Static <laughs> shock. No, 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 no. I was, no, I was trying to see what move I could have. And I only realized the power was up my old orb. Yeah, yeah. I want to shock it. Okay, you just shock a door. It doesn't really do much. But your Voltorb looks like it's um, done a good job for the day. Even if it doesn't do <laughs> much. Good job. <laughs> it just kind of looks at you with its eyebrows. Because, of course, your Voltorb looks like All Might. So... Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I am here. Yeah. So, <laughs> you have um, Lettuce going around to look if there's any uh, entrances or anything. Uh, so, what are you going to do? Um... Hmm. I'm thinking. Uh, I guess l I'm gonna look around with lettuce. Okay. As you two are flying around with Mercury to find any openings in the door, you do find a few windows that have been jammed shut. They're covered in dust, so you can't really see inside. Um, but at the back of the train car, like connected to the train, you do see there is a door. That seems slightly open. Mm. You gonna go in? Oh, I'm gonna follow oh. them. Um, <laughs> appear. Uh, well, not go in just yet. Look through the crack. Okay. As you look through the train car's crack in the door, you see a very, very dimly lit um, hallway. You go. <laughs> One moment. Dimly lit. Okay, I know what to do. Is like, there any like, um... light from outside? Because it's daytime right now. It's just kind of it... slow coming Can't... through the doors or oh, windows. I mean, even though they're Can, look... Can I look for any nearby rocks? Yeah, you can get a rock if you want. Yes, I am going to smash the window with the rock. <laughs> okay. Like breaking into house wise. Okay. I'll like I'm breaking into a house. D six for that, buddy. Okay, I'm going to have to look at my bag. Uh, where are you? Come on, where are you? Where is it? It should be in here. 
Oh, there it is. Okay, got it. A six. Okay. <laughs> I would Finally. Say that. <laughs> Come I on. would say normally you would break the window, but of course these windows have been reinforced so that that they don't take any damage when the train is in motion. So the rock ricochets back and hits your Voltorb. Causing it to explode. Which Excuse in turn me. causes Monarch to go flying into the sky. Hold on. Oh, I'm gone again, aren't I? I'm somewhere off, like, so far away. Blasting off again! <laughs> blasting off! <laughs> Monarch, Monarch is blasting off again! <laughs> <laughs> oh god, why did I do this? I'm so stupid! For you, though, when you come back from flying down, your Voltorb finds you and kind of just puts you on its head, or its body, or whatever it is. Oh and wait, so... pulls you back to the group. So he reincarnates as another of one of himself. Yeah, because when, like he... when they explode, it's kind of like they cause an explosion outside on themselves. They don't themselves explode. Kind of oh, anyways, I know what I'm gonna do. Since I was like peering through the crack of the door, so it was dimly lit. Yep, yep. Well, guess what Fade has? Oh yeah, you got teleport. Not just teleport. Fade also has hazy flame, which is a fire type move. <laughs> <laughs> no, just to light it up. Oh, okay. Do you remember what happened to the door? I tried to blow up. Yeah, off. but I'm inside. I'm guessing Sol's the one who's <laughs> kind of carrying the Pikachu at this point in time, then. I bet you're gonna weld it from the inside. Yep. I hope you know. Mark! So you I'm actually fire. inside. You're the one that <laughs> welded the door because you shot fire to force your way through. I'm already in. I'm just lighting things up. Okay. okay. <laughs> because you kind of got ahead there. After slowly pushing the door open, um, the Pikachu that's in Sol's arms jumps out and runs ahead. As you follow it inside, you realise how dusty the interior is. Cobwebs everywhere. The small light from, um, not Psyquil, he's about Trianga now, because he's evolved. Um, Hazy Flames slowly and barely lights up the inside of the train. It's kind of like a little Will-O-Wisp kind of thing. Let's see, where was I? As you slowly walk through the train car, you notice a lock on the door you tried to first get into, the one that Monarch attacked. Oh. It seems that it was locked and barricaded from inside, so you wouldn't have been able to get in anyway. Haha, <laughs> ha, so it wasn't so stupid after all. It was well, still your fault, you welded the door. <laughs> it still wouldn't have gone in anyway. <laughs> You see Pikachu scurrying about, smelling the air. It then stops and rolls into a ball, like an armadillo. You hear a bit of noise up ahead. Do you investigate? Uh, I'm going to just enter and just try and listen out for whatever this is. Well, well, he makes that stupid decision. I'm going to... Why, uh, every, somehow every decision <laughs> I make is somehow stupid. How? Because, because you're always in danger from every single one you make. <laughs> I just want to listen to the sound. I just want to listen to the sound, okay? Just let me listen to it. Uh, what I'm going to do is pretty much do the exact same thing as he did, except I'm going to put it on a cloak. <laughs> okay, so you cloak up. Yes, because stealth. Are you gonna go well, I don't, or... I don't have anything yeah. for stealth letters, so there's not really I, much. I, I do. do. <laughs> I'm just gonna hang back because I'm. Well, you probably have everything. Because I'm ninety percent sure I don't. Of things I have. I don't have. I so said I'm gonna hang back because I'm ninety percent sure I don't have anything for stealth. So let us. You can say. Yeah, the reason why I'm putting on stealth is the possibility oh. of like whatever that happens sees us and well, whatever that is, if it's like something like an enemy, if it yeah. sees us and attacks, I'm putting on stealth to like make sure I have enough time to check first. Okay, okay. Gotcha. <laughs> my bad. Misunderstanding. They're on my end. Sorry. It's fine. I was. <laughs> 
<laughs> Are you going to investigate then, all your stealthiness now? Yes, I'm investigating with stealthiness just to be safe. <laughs> okay. I'm going to run past them. Walk ahead. You come across someone snoring wrapped up in a blanket next to a heater. Can I um, decapitate him? Or something else. Uh, I'm going to stab, stab him. Monarch. <laughs> stab Monarch, that's what. <laughs> no, I want to do something for once. Okay. You're trying to immediately kill someone we find asleep. <laughs> Probably, at this point, we can't trust anyone because everyone we've met has battled us or like tried to kill us. He's got that. He's got so what's the point? But at the same time, <laughs> just go attacking people. Oh, well, they we... just go attacking us. So why can't we just attack them for once? You literally realize there's a little kid that was also following us. And they're completely fine. They've dealt with issues, but they're a completely good person, even with those issues. So, hey, <laughs> give this person a chance. <laughs> so you're gonna wake them up or leave them be? I'm so. F wake tough. them up. Okay, good. And, and Wait, can we tie him? Wait, can we tie him up first, then wake him up? Yes. If you want to try that, go for it. Please. I'll say roll a ten for that. You ain't gonna stop you can't feel free to do that. I'm not gonna feel well. I'm not gonna stop you guys from doing that. It's just I wouldn't say it's it's a cautious decision. May not be the best decision because we're kind of intruding on where they were finding a safe space. <laughs> Fair enough. We'll just wake them up normally. Yeah. We'll just wake. Them. So like, make sure yourself is protected, but don't limit them. Okay. The one you do wake? realize this is our mission to get in the train. <laughs> I'll, I'll wake up the guy. So, you know, as um, Sol walks over, he just kind of puts his hand out and kind of just shakes the person awake. A young woman with bags under her eyes. Um, looks like she's been there for a, quite a fair while. She looks a bit War like border. this. <laughs> Can we war board her while interrogating her? <laughs> See, I told you. Look, look at her. She's creepy as hell. <laughs> creepy does not mean that they are bad. <laughs> uh, <laughs> at this point, I might as well just judge at this point because every <laughs> I can't trust anyone. <laughs> it looks like she's been here for quite a fair while. She she's probably insane. What's going on here and who you are? Immediately, you get the distant smell of. Alcohol as a few beer cans roll out of her blanket. See, she's okay. not insane, she's just drunk. Plus the smell of someone <laughs> who hasn't washed in a long, long time. And, and homeless. <laughs> you, however, uh... seem to realise all of you hold your noses. That gives us another reason to kill her. She just stinks. <laughs> I'll say Mita's still here. I'll say she's still awake. Mita and Sadie, yeah. however, grab her by the hand and rush off somewhere. They arrive back half an hour later with the girl smelling a lot nicer and wearing winter wear. You guess they oh took her to the spa to get cleaned up and went shopping afterwards. And see, so, look, the fact that this girl didn't attack them while they were gone can we tie should show a sign that she's fine. We tie her back up in case. I, th I think we're safe. I don't think we have to worry about tying them up, <laughs> Monarch. Unless you do something inter interotic to irritate them. <laughs> hmm. She explains her name is Charlotte Dunois, and she's been hiding here ever since the city's curse started. Weirdly enough, she seemed to be someone with an immunity to it, and was so frightened she locked herself in here for protection. You explain, Brown, that was you explain the situation, she seems... Very surprised to find out the curse ended because of you guys. Yeah. You find out she's a trainer, just like you guys, doing the gym She's challenge. gonna battle us. I swear to god, she's gonna battle us. I'd if if, if we steal her gym badge. If we steal her gym badge. This is why she I was saying tie her up. You to battle her. <laughs> I told you! I What did I say? What did I say? Hey, it's kind battling. We're having a polite conversation. It's okay if we battle. It's not for death's purpose. <laughs> uh, I'm, not, I'm, just gonna sit, I'm just gonna sit away and just watch you battle. I'm not doing this. She pulls three Pokeballs out of her rucksack. 
Great, convenient. <laughs> Which means you're bad. Like each of you. So that means you can, do one can I just complain at her? <laughs> she kind of looks at you, uh, tilting her head, kind of confused by your um, question. Can I just I state that monarch in this situation is currently being a wuss who's being overly cautious? <laughs> 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 I mean, she's not playing me after all I've been through in this campaign. Okay. You're the only one with so much bad luck, but you've been away one. from us when you have been. <laughs> you have dumb things. Final she throws out three Pokemon. I'm going to punch you with my bare hands. She has a Shuppet, a Mimikyu. And your mutant dex goes off when her third um, mon comes out. And the Ish. fact that she has the, the fact that she yeah. has a mimic you. Fusion move. Interesting. I know exactly what two Pokemon you just combined here. I'm yeah, gonna die. This is Honage and uh, the score bunny. new starter. Yeah, yeah. score bunny. <laughs> oh no! What did that? Say the upload failed when it appeared on the screen. Oh, oh! For some reason that didn't upload. I don't know. May I please throw a ball lantern at it and set it on fire? There we go. I don't know why that um, stopped first time. So who's going to be battling which mons? I'm going to yeah. battle the bunny edge. Okay, so monarchs against the bunny. Oh, now it's twice. Oh, God. <laughs> twice. In case you didn't see him first. <laughs> so, who's battling the Shuppet and who's battling the Mimikyu? Uh, I'll, I'll take on the Mimikyu. Okey-doke. I was actually thinking, maybe I can make my Pokemon friends with that Pokemon. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God, say. Hey, they could still battle, but Fade is an insane Pokemon, and like, Mimi yeah, Mimikyu's... My it's <laughs> and, <laughs> and Mimikyu's Pokedex description pretty much mentions how they're shunned because of their appearance, and how no one likes them. Well, Fade's a psycho, so... <laughs> you, haven't, you haven't noticed yet that the trainer you're battling is a ghost manic? Oh, I noticed. Ghost type, someone love her more than anything else. Yeah, I noticed uh, yeah. with Shuppet, Honage, part and Mimikyu, because <laughs> Honage kills anyone who touches their ribbon. <laughs> I'm gonna call it that she's a witch. She is. <laughs> she's not she's a, a witch, witch. dude. It's like Mimikyu. Weird. It kills anyone who sees what's under their clothes just by appearance. Yeah, that's really cool. um, Honage. Kind of thing. Honage turns um, anyone to from pretty much stone for whoever touches their ribbon. And I don't remember what Shuppets was. <laughs> Shuppets just like a doll that was basically abandoned. Oh yeah. So it's like a uh, Shuppets. Oh yeah, I, I remember the look of their uh, evolve as well. So yeah, I'd go against Shuppet, I guess. Any of them my Pokemon would probably make friends with. <laughs> So now we'll roll initiative. So each of you roll a d20. Eight. Okay, you got an eight. Great. I got. Let's see. I have to like lean forward to see what it is. The important stuff I get low rolls, <laughs> and the less important stuff I get high rolls. It's fine, buddy. It's fine. Why is this happening? So what's All right. Rolling? Yep. Give me one second. There um, we go. What did you roll? Uh. I rolled a 13 I ro for initiative. I rolled an 8. <laughs> so you both, you got the same as Monarch? Yep, I got the same as Monarch. I rolled an 8. And 13. And pretty much it's just individual battles <laughs> with yeah. three different Pokemon. I assume uh, it's just pairing between like yeah, yeah. just the two people yeah, yeah, yeah. and their initiative. So let's see. Uh, Shuffet got a 6. So, Monarch, you're going first between those two. Okay. Uh, oh, wait, I'm against the uh, Bunny Edge. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Bunny Edge got nine. I, oh, wait, I thought. 
You said Shep at first. Never mind. Mm. Monarch, you're going second. <laughs> and Mimikyu got an 18. So, okay. Uh, let's go in first. <laughs> so, yeah, Mimikyu's going first out of you two. Uh, I'm going first out of me and Shepet. And Bunny Edge is going first out of Bunny Edge and Monarch. Alright. So, there we go. Yep. But who is the battle order? As in, like, the three battles. <laughs> oh, God. I think we'll do the first battle will be Lettuce, because that'll be easier so we don't get them mixed up. So it'll be him versus um, Shuppet first. So who are you going to send out, um, Lettuce? Of course, Fade. <laughs> so let's see, Lettuce got a 13, and Shuppet got a 6, so that means Lettuce goes first. Yep, and uh, I'm immediately going to, you know, let me just grab the D10. Because, <laughs> you know, psychic type moves do double damage <coughs> most times. Uh, well, I'm, what I'm doing is the teleport, which is roll a, well, roll one D10. So because it's fun. Oh, okay. uh, six or higher, something helpful will... Um, be teleported to you, and however five or lower will cause something not so helpful to be teleported to you, and it's a psychic type move, as you said, yeah. and I rolled seven, so I got something helpful. <laughs> as you um, use teleport, you feel a weird, ominous, like, feeling appear around you, and a shiny Mimikyu is summoned to the battle. <laughs> I got a shiny Mimikyu? <laughs> Can I catch it? <laughs> oh, <laughs> God. All right, can I try catching it now? I mean, like, if you end, yeah. if you end this battle, it will just immediately join you kind of thing. Oh, okay. Uh, then, yeah, so that's the shiny Mimikyu just fighting for me. Yeah, yeah. So I got another assisting Pokemon at the moment in, with, <laughs> in battle. <laughs> <laughs> did your teleport that's your move ended but Mimikyu the, the one who's a shiny will use your attack for you now so okay. it basically has a move called copycat where it can copy any move that a Pokemon would normally attack it with but because you're with that Pokemon it will copy one of yours so it copies psychic yeah I was thinking of using psychic because it's a once per battle but now since it's two Pokemon yeah. <laughs> they can use it and I can still use mine later yeah. so how much damage would um, that normally do. Nine. Yep. So and it's since it's a psychic type move, double, so 18. Yep, so 18. And wait, what did they roll? For hitting? Oh, yeah, I haven't done that yet. Uh, they got 15, so they're defeating that defense anyway, so... Uh, well, I was thinking if they rolled a 20, it would have yeah, been... Yeah, yeah. Mm, <laughs> it would have been 36. The <laughs> uh, what's your defense, buddy? 11, so... 40. Going through most likely. Yeah. yeah. They're going to hit you with a hypnosis. It knocks you to sleep for three turns. If hit with a status, effect raises attack by five. Yeah, if hit for a sleep, it doesn't really matter. Uh, it just would last yeah, until afterwards. Yeah. <laughs> okay, no. so I guess it's back to you, but you're asleep, so... Well, I could do something. Okay, what are you going to try and do? Um... What I can do is use, uh... <clears throat> Have a good dream. <laughs> oh, technically... Oh my... <laughs> I could do something. Just scare the Pokemon <laughs> off with a rifle, but I'm not going to. Uh... <laughs> Why do you still that? <laughs> that was literally that last session. <laughs> Uh, but no, what I'm gonna do is probably just use a potion in order to, uh... Actually, no, I need an antidote, so never mind, I can't do anything. Oh, okay. So, you're just gonna skip your turn, then? Yep. Okie doke. Oh, that's a 20. Oops. <laughs> um... It's going to be a dream on you. And, and uh... Normally, dream how much does 12 damage, so you're taking 24 damage. Sorry to say. 
painful of an attack. You just see kind of like a weird oh, demon God. like aura appear above um Triangle and it just kind of just bites its head. And you just see it kind of freak out its sleep. Kind of thing. Yeah, well you defeated my Pokemon by three, but luckily I have another one. <laughs> Um, you game. said, well, it's a ghost type, so, uh, hmm. let's see. You got any other psychic types? No, that's my only psychic type, but I'm trying to think of something else that, uh, doubles damage, but I don't quite remember what doubles damage to ghost. Mm -hmm. Other than dark, but dark's right, in a box. Yeah. And, oh, actually, even though my dark type is in a box, I have a Pokemon with a dark type move. Mercury! <laughs> so, I guess um, it's Mercury's turn now. Yep. Yep. So, what are you going to hit with? I'm going to just straight up use Dark Pulse. <laughs> Roll for that, buddy. Alright. And so, uh, that got. Crap. What'd you do? 20. Oh, really? <laughs> Six, but with the devil, it would be 12, but with the devil, it would be 24. <laughs> oh, God. Yeah, um, that shopper has been super knocked out. Like, it kind of just falls to the ground like a... Like, if you threw a sock that was wet and it just kind of, like, hit the wall kind of thing. Uh, kind just of... stick... So you just stick to the wall? Yeah, it kind of just slowly slides down the wall. Uh, by, um, well, now that I defeated that Pokemon, thank you for the shiny mimic. Yeah, you see the shiny mimic kind of wander towards you, but something seems very odd about this mimic. As you go to grab and like put your hand on its head, your hand goes through it, and you immediately realize this is an undead mimic, as it's an actual ghost. Cureball? So it's the ghost of a Mimikyu. <laughs> Cureball? <laughs> yeah, you can throw a Cureball at it. Alright. Cureball! Like, as, um, like, you've just caught it, you realise it's got a little bow on its head. Like a little ribbon. So it's like got a shiny Mimikyu with a ribbon on its head. And you've just so caught possi it. possibly a female Mimikyu. <laughs> And I used a cure ball in order just to maintain the ghostly atmosphere of it. Yeah, so even though it's, it's still got the same um, thing that a normal Mimikyu would have, though, which is Ghost Fairy. I think it's your first fairy type, actually. Um, well, my first fairy type was Uwu, but that's put up in a box. <laughs> um, I'll bring you the stats and stuff for it when, when I get the chance to. Two, three... Four, five, six. I have six Pokemon currently out, but uh, one of them's literally in a box, and the other one I can't even use yet. <laughs> so, uh, I think I may have to put Legolas in a box, unfortunately. So, Souls against Mimikyu, so Mimikyu goes first. Alright. Wait, I thought Les caught it. No, this is, um, he basically. I got the ghost of a Mimikyu. He summoned in a Mimikyu teleport. Oh. So, what's your, what Pokemon are you using, uh, Soul? I'm gonna use, uh, Blizzard. Oh, okay, you know, Blizzard, um, kind of jumps onto the field. His little Sneasel. And, um, I got a 13. What's your defense, buddy? My defense is a 11. Yes, I'm going over that. Um, or yep. shadow sneak on you. You just kind of see the Mimikyu jump into its own shadow and kind of blast itself across the battlefield. And just like reappears and like taps your Pokemon on the head. And your Pokemon takes 7 damage. Big oof. Alright. So. so turn now. Roll for your attack. Give me one second. I'm doing the math so I know what HP my uh, Blizzard's at. So okay. I can keep track of it. Calculator. What I do it is I basically just write the number and then add that on each time till it gets to the point where you need to say you're dead or yep. something. I just do yep. it in my head. 
That's 27, so my health HP is now at 27. Yep. So it's now your turn, um, buddy, to attack. Alright, I'm a roll. So, uh, <laughs> you. it's an undead ghost. <laughs> I got a four. It's still like a ghost fairy, though. Like, it's just a spirit of a Pokemon or anything else. That's not good. I got a four, so... Yeah, it's... Defense is nine, so that's not gonna work. Nope. <laughs> the move you were gonna use just kind of like ends, and you're like, what the heck? So undead ghost fairy. No, it doesn't have the undead typing. It's just. Yeah, well. I use. All right. Term, well, I'll, I'll just, just put spirit. spirit. Yeah, spirit. <laughs> I'll put spirit in quotes. Yeah. yeah. Uh, that's not gonna hit because it's an eight. So it's back to you, Sol. All right. I got a six. Uh, that's not gonna hit, buddy. It's a nine of defense. So that's me. Yep. That's an eighteen. So that's gonna be hit. Me. It's gonna yep. hit you with um, shadow sneak again. So you take another seven. All right. So. Uh, oh, what the fuck. Twenty-seven minus. All right. So I'm at twenty now. Yep. Roll a twenty again, buddy. All right. A uh, ten, so yeah, that's not you going. Did you did it. Oh. So what are you going to be attacking with? I am. Give me one. Second. Anyways, unfortunately, I have groceries to get, so I'll be right back. I'm going to use ice beam. Mm -hmm. okay, that okay. deals eight damage. Eight damage. Yep. Okie doke. So it's back to Mimikyu. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's not good. They got a natural 20. Um, so you're taking, let's see, 7 add 7 is... How much is that? Is that 14? Right. Uh, I'm at 27 right now for HP, so I don't know how much damage your attack is going to do. Because normally it would do 7, but then it doubles it because it's a 20. Um, All right. So, just say 7 Wait. and add 7. Alright. Alright, so... Yeah, because I was at 20. I'm actually at 20 HP. I made a mistake. Ah. Alright, All right, so I made a mistake. Alright, let me re reject this down. HP. That's 20. Yeah, I looked at the, the, the first one I wrote on accident. Yeah. When you fr hit me with the, big, uh, the second attack. So I'm in an oops there. All right, so HP at 20. So uh, how much damage did you do now? Uh, that was let's see, seven add seven. All right, so, so I'm guessing <laughs> probably 27 like... dam. Ooh. You did 27 damage. So yeah, yeah, Blizzard's dead. Oh no! These <laughs> Blizzard fall forward as they faint. And yep. You recall them in the little Pokeball. So who are you gonna send out now? Ah, uh, that's a good question. I, I I'm too weak to use. Uh, I'm not high enough level to use Kaido yet, right? No. Nope. All right. Um, I'm gonna use one I haven't used in a while. Nami. Yay! Who was Nami again? That was the. Give me one second. That was the ghost type. Uh, mutant. Uh, risk. Uh, Riscara. Riscara. Yeah. I haven't seen I didn't, I, in a while. Yeah, I haven't used it in a while. I've been using Blizzard a lot. Yeah. So, what are you going to be attacking with? Uh, give me a second. So, ability Ghost Touch powers up Ghost Moves by 4 when uh, HP is lower than 6. Hmm. Uh, okay, I'm just reading. I'm rereading all the attacks and stuff that I can do. Yeah. Alright, so I have to... Hmm. Let me see. Wait, where's the five on the dice roller? I can't find the uh. Hmm. Wait, it says roll. D oh, a d6. Okay, that's why I was confused. All right. What'd you do? I I got a five. You mean like for your normal hit, uh, roll, right? Yeah, for the normal roll, I got I got yeah, five. Not going nope, because so it has to be. Attack. 
Uh, it got 16 on its roll, so it's going to be hitting you, I'm guessing. Yep. Let me look at the HP. I have... I think I have... How much HP do I have? Alright, I got 44 HP. Yes. Yeah, so and it might... Is a 7. Alright, so... 40 more, 44 minus 7. So much math. I know. I'm not good at math. That's fine. All right, so th I'm at now at eight, uh, thirty-seven HP. Hmm. So it's back to it's you now. All right. Let me run. Nice. What'd you do? I got a twenty. Oh, nice. Uh, what are you hitting me with? Give me one second. Dark pulse. Oh, that's going to do double damage. Yep. Double, double damage, because um, ghost types are weak to dark types. Dark, uh, dark pulse deals uh, 10 damage originally. So that'll be 20, and then you add uh, another... You da uh, double that. Yep. Oh, God, that's 40 damage. <laughs> Jesus. You basically just see the blast of your dark pulse expand mm -hmm. to the normal ne levels you wouldn't normally see, and just completely annihilates this mimic you in one shot. Like he goes down hard. You're kind of surprised in a way. Like the mm -hmm. blast was a lot larger than you expected. And uh, uh, this is now going. Now I know why this is my main Pokemon and why I used it so much. Yeah, you get um, 5 XP for your Pokemon, because you defeated one. Nice! Yeah, and now it's Monarch's turn um, to battle. Well, no. But um, I'll have to end this episode here, and then we'll have to carry on next time, because we're getting up to like 40 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> so this is uh, oh, Fire, nice. Soul, Monarch, Pounce, and Lettuce, signing off. Peace. Bye. Later.